Ooh, installation is complete. That's what I like to see. The computer will restart. Oh, by the way, have you noticed the button changed a little bit? It's more rectangular, which I actually like a lot. One second, bam, restarting. There's a familiar Apple logo. I don't know if we're gonna see anything different yet because I still have my startup, my first disk set as my startup disk. However, I'm, I'm expecting it to boot into Lion since it's restarting from a Lion installation. Oh, yep, 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 look at that. We are already different. Before you begin, yes, there is a mouse. Let's get that connected. Give that a second. Yes, it is there. Okay, good. United States. There you go, that's a better angle for you guys. US. Uh, do not transfer information. I have everything backed up. Full name. We don't have to be too formal. Just, whoops. Oh well, my god, I can't type. David DeFranco. Account name. Uh, home folder. I always like just David. That way it's nice and simple. Put in a password. Allow my Apple ID to reset this password. Blah, 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 blah. Password hint. You already know it. Bam. Continue. Creating. This is good, guys. This is good. This is a good sign. As long as OS X is on the SSD, which it is, that's all I care about because now all I have to do is switch the startup disk. Ooh, I get to take a picture. Guys, how do I look? Actually, I probably look like shit because it's freaking hot in here. I hate the summer. Here we go. That's temporary. I know that's really scary. Kind of love OS. I mean, look at this interface. I don't really see any other OS being this intuitive. Maybe they are. I don't know. I haven't used Windows in a while. All right, continue. Set time zone automatically. Yes. Oh, look at that. They even show you a video. That's so cool. Uh, I'm not crazy about the more natural scrolling. For instance, when you scroll up, it goes down. I mean, it's more natural when using it on the iPad because it just feels better. However, maybe I will give this a try for a day, but I gotta be honest, I highly doubt I'm gonna use that. I'll probably change it right away. Oh, look at that new login screen. Very nice. Booting in. Man, that is, oh my god. That is nice. Guys, we're in. We did it. Success. And now, let's change the boot up disk real quick before we get too excited. Where is that again? Oh, startup disk, the most obvious one. Oh, it's already set. So, let's shut down the Mac Pro and do a quick test. I just want to switch out. Look at that. Reopen Windows when logging back in. Actually, that's already been there, I believe. Uh, I mean, not that option, but it's already done that. So it's just like, if you have Finder open, it'll open the Finder. Anyway, let's shut down. Shutdown process should be very quick. Yep, done. All right, we are putting the bracket back on the two terabyte drive, which I took out to make room for the old startup disk just to boot into it. However, I would like to take this time to say this is exactly why I appreciate the Mac Pro so much. Having access to multiple drives just like that can save you so much time. Because apparently there's something wrong in my boot DVD or optical drive. However, I will not end this video without telling you guys what the problem was because next up is the Mac Mini which would be a much quicker process. I will not waste your time with that. So, I didn't even take the Mac Pro out this time. I just kind of left it down here. I'm not gonna waste my time by doing that. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. And... Boom, boom, boom. Here's the old startup disk, which I will put back in the bubble wrap. That's a good sign, Apple logo, considering this is the old startup disk again. Uh, so it obviously sees the startup disk because we see the Apple logo. Let's put this away. 
And a quick little jump cut there, because it took me forever to put the bag away. Okay, it's still up here in the left. That's not an issue at all. I can change that. But startup took about maybe 25 seconds, which is still a lot better than it used to be. There you go. I really like that fade in where it kind of like fades into the galaxy. It's pretty cool. So as a quick check, let's click on the finder. Oh, that's right. Check it out, guys. You can now resize from all corners. Thank God. That is definitely something I like about Windows more than Mac OS X, is that you can resize from all windows, but now you can on OS X. It's very quick, I gotta say. Uh, let's just launch the app store real quick. My God. It launched like instantly. I don't think I can even handle that speed. Gee, <laughs> that was fast. I mean, that's really fast to me because... Uh, oh, look how fast that launches. Jeez. That was quick. Oh, look at this. Full screen app. I was taking a picture. I think it will follow my head with certain effects. Oh, guys, this full screen action is beautiful. It's a little laggy for some reason considering I have a great graphics card, but not a huge deal. Look at that. The birds are following me. It's a talk of the birds! Alright. Check that out, guys. Full screen app support. Bam! Just click those arrows. Nice full screen action. It's like a picture. There you go. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. Alright, now let's do the Mac Mini, which is right here. You can kind of see it there. These birds are... Okay, now this is the true test. Let's wake up the Mac Pro. I mean, Mac, yeah, Mac Pro. Mac Pro got small. And let's decrease the brightness because I noticed this last time. Whoops. Right there. Way down. That way it's easier to see. All right. Now, where did I put that boot up DVD? Here we go, it's on the Mac Pro. Now this is the true test guys, if this boot DVD works in the Mac Mini, I want to see myself, then that means it's my Mac Pro having trouble reading it because I did everything the website told me. Again, it was incredibly easy. So anyway, let's put this in. Now it will pop up right away asking me to install Lion. That worked on the Mac Pro, but what I'm talking about is the bootable portion of it. So let's restart. Actually, let's just do a full shutdown. Using my Magic Trackpad, by the way. Great accessory. Let's connect, not Microsoft Connect. Let's connect the keyboard to the Mac Mini. Okay, the keyboard's plugged in. My classic Apple keyboard, by the way, this little one. I don't know if you can see that. Now let's do this. Where is the button? There it is. Hold down C. Okay, we have an Apple logo, which is something the Mac Pro did not give us right away. But then again, this already has OS X installed on the primary disk, so it's really not a fair comparison yet. You can hear it trying to do something. Yeah, this stuff isn't going to work. Okay, there's obviously something wrong with the boot up disk. So let's just shut her down. It definitely should have booted by now. And let's boot it back up. This time we'll just install Lion from the usual UI. I really don't care about just doing an upgrade. I'm usually against that because I like clean installs. But this, this Mac Mini was literally just installed and set up from a clean Snow Leopard installation maybe like a couple months ago. So it's really not a huge deal. So now, actually now we're fine. We install Boots up. Waiting, 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 waiting. In the meantime, let me switch my displays on my Mac Pro. That's really annoying me. Guys, this interface is nice. Very refined. There we go. Just tried the task bar. Task bar. God, I can't believe I just said that. Menu bar. There you go. We're good. 
Oh, there you go, it's booted. So now let's just double click the install DVD. Let me get out of your way here. Can you see? Eh, that's fine. Let's do this. You'll see it pop up over here by my head. Double click. And just like the Mac Pro, continue, agree, agree again. Primary. Oh, never mind. That's all it is, obviously. And let me put the password in. Well, bam, it is installing. Success. Well, sort of. And that is that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my frustration. I don't mind getting frustrated on camera because, well, it's kind of funny to look back on this stuff. However, I gotta say, I'm really disappointed that my boot DVD did not work, and I don't understand why. Because a lot of people on Twitter said theirs worked just fine. Maybe something happened in, in the burning process. I don't know. All I know is it's working now. That's all I really that's all I really care about. My Mac Pro is a clean install, amazing, and my Mac Mini is getting a nice. Can't download the additional components needed to install OS 10. Okay, that's the same error I got on my Mac Pro. So I guess it is the DVD. So now I have to install it from the App Store, which is perfectly fine. That doesn't take too long. It is now time to part ways, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Again. Huge thanks goes out to MacFan. All of his links can be seen below. This video is probably two parts by now because, of course, as usual, I included more footage than I, than I originally wanted to because of problems. However, in my opinion, problems make videos more interesting, and plus, you guys can learn from my mistakes. However, I gotta say, I didn't really make any real mistakes. It's just my boot up DVD wasn't working as it should have been, and it's the most basic process. I've created boot DVDs before, so I don't get why this wasn't working. I did exactly what the link below told me to. Now I'm ranting. I guess it really doesn't matter because Lion's installing just fine. Well, it's about to install just fine, and it's installed already on my Mac Pro. So, Okay, guys, I'm finally done. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video, right? Maybe? If you would like to connect me, connect me, yeah, if you want to connect me, if you would like to connect with me outside of YouTube, you can do that in many ways. My Twitter is below, Facebook. Oh, by the way, I am now on Google+. Plus. I am loving Google+, Plus, guys. Just go to my personal site. The link is below. Click on the Google+, Plus button on the right, or you can just go to g two slash David DeFranco. And um, I guess that is it. I really hate saying goodbye, but I got to go enjoy Snow Leopard. Yes, yeah, Snow Leopard. I wish it was snowing in here. It's freaking hot. I'm about to turn my air back on. I've talked enough. Enjoy lying, guys. Have a great weekend, and I will see you very soon. Things are making noise.